in here because of the music that's playing for copyright. So I'll get back when I text y'all. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am lost. I am I'm not really lost. I'm still at the airport, but I am trying to figure out how the hell to get to my hotel. The shuttle can't find me. Lyft can't find me. I don't really know what part of the airport I'm at. Um, I just know that it says shuttle and buses. But when I try to download the app that the, um, the coordinator sent us, for some reason, it's not finding me either. So, I don't really know. Right now, I'm just trying to get out of this heat. Okay, so these all say like economy, parking, and the train. So, I found out that those are to take you around the airport to go pick up your car. So, that's not what I want. And then these um, green signs over here are just telling you, let me see if I can zoom in. They're just kind of telling you like what, um, what airline that you're on. And I was on Southwest, so that's not really helping me at all. And then I see this, um, it says to text for the, I guess they have a free shuttle that can take you around West Palm Beach, but when I sent the text to it, when I sent a text, it just told me that someone should be here by 118, like 120. It's like 108 right now. Um, I didn't want to wait that long because I really have to use the restroom, and I don't know where one is around here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm super confused. No one else really can help me because of their loss too. So yeah, hopefully the next time I see you, I'll be in my hotel room. All right, Um. so it is about 1.15 right now. I went on the Lyft app to see if I could just call for a Lyft. For whatever reason, I think it's just where I'm at. It is not picking my location up and it still thinks I'm back in Georgia. So it's telling me that no one's gonna be here till like almost 10 o'clock at night and my Lyft ride is gonna be like $200. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, so I don't know, I don't really know what to do. I may have to just take my luggage back into the airport um, and then hopefully everything will get recalibrated because it's still, for whatever reason, thinking I'm still in Atlanta. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of getting frustrated right now, so let me try to figure something out. Thank God. So, that bus can't take me where I need to go because it's not going that way. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go in and see if I can get signal and just try to call for a lift because I don't know how else to get to my hotel. So, I, I'm sorry, I'm super frustrated right now. Um, I don't know where my lift driver is and I keep messaging him and he's not responding. I've called him twice, his phone is off. So, it just has a missed rod, so I got charged for that. I'm like super frustrated right now. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know why no one can help me. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. Alright y'all, I need help. Um, I have literally been at this damn airport for a fucking hour. No one knows where I'm supposed to be. One person says to go upstairs. Another person says to go downstairs. Lift people can't find me. I I don't know where I am at this point. If you know where I'm supposed to be and you're going to this retreat today, please DM me and let me know because I'm extremely lost and extremely frustrated.
Y'all, it has been a day. It has been a day. Um, I am finally in my hotel room. Uh, not my original hotel. Definitely need this. This is literally like my fourth one. Um, it has been a day. Um, I finally got a lift. I went to one hotel. I did end, end up staying there for my original hotel. Um, and then I came here. Um, this is just a basic hotel room. There's nothing, nothing crazy about it. Um, I have check in tomorrow because the pink retreat officially starts tomorrow and then we have registration i think registration is from like 8 a.m to i want to say maybe five um and then we have our big welcome party um that is either at six or seven i cannot remember um so yeah that is what's going on tomorrow i had planned on doing like a big um like a get ready with me or showing y'all my outfit of the day that didn't happen <laughs> so um i posted did i post i don't know i'll i had either posted before or i'll post in the next slide what i wore to the airport um yeah i'm I'm just having my mimosa and some french fries and chicken wings and yeah it is only like 9 so it's not really late but I've been up since like 3 a.m. and like I said it has been a day it has been a day from hell so I am going to finish my mimosa <laughs> and try to watch some Netflix or something and try to unwind so I can be in much better spirits from for y'all um, tomorrow. So anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. This absolutely did not go according to plan at all, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be much better. <laughs> Good morning. It is um, the first day of the pink retreat. Um, it is about 6.30 in the morning. I need to get going. Um, oh, I need to get going. Um, registration is at 8 a.m. Um, it's like 8 a.m. to like maybe 3 or something. But I have a 9 a.m. Uh, creators class um, this is a class for if you're trying to work with um, Lily Pulitzer for on their socials and different things like that so I've got to get going um, so I'm about to jump in the shower and um, go ahead and head that way So you see, I'm all glam. Um, I did not have time to um, like film the whole thing. I woke up late. Um, I was up half the night and then I woke up late. So um, I'm gonna kinda do a little bit on my eyes and then I'm gonna turn you around so you can see what I'm wearing today. All right, y'all, so this is my look for today. Um, sorry, it's bad lighting. <laughs> um, so I have these little Lily earrings here. This is my Lily inspired um, necklace. This is from Cora's Den. And I've just got some hot pink lipstick on. My little ruffly top that I got from my sheet in haul. And this little um, skirt from the Lily. It's so super comfortable and stretchy. Um, so I'm wearing these um, little flats here. I got these from City Trend. 
Um, I think they were only like $12. And then my bracelet is just um, Kendra Scott. I forgot a little charm, um, little costume ring, but it's fine. I had like so much stuff in my um, in my suitcase. But anyway, yep, yeah, this is my look. I'm going to go ahead and call for a lift um, to go and take me to PGA for registration. Okay, so I got to the host hotel. I really wish I could have stayed here. They, they sold the room so fast I couldn't do it. But look how gorgeous this place is. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me go in because I've got to run in and register real fast. swag bag okay. over at that table. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and then if you want to share um, on Instagram and Facebook. Yay! Alright guys, so I am all checked in. I've got all of my little camper treat swag so i'm about to head over it is about like 8 40 and i'm about to head over to um the next event i think i can film in all of the um all of the events for the pink retreat but i'm not sure um so we'll go and go ahead and head that way <sighs> look at this hotel oh my god i really wish i could have stayed here the door knockers are so cute. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Their decisions. Because we are innately set up, biologically speaking, to want to do the easy thing. And that's not because we're lazy, it's because we want to conserve our calories, our energy. Eat your food. Hire a babysitter, you know, eat for an hour or two, take pictures, come home, spend two hours creating content, and you didn't pay me for it because it's typically no budget, right? So I think like that's so why I advocate for my PR friends, but then on the flip side for the influencers, I'm like, please make it easier for the brands because we're managing like a dozen influencers. Okay, so we finished our... Um we finished our um, class that we had, like a marketing class. I am starving, so I'm gonna go and get some food. I met so many great people um, that I have known from social media and a whole bunch of new ones. So that was super fun. Um, there's a diner here on property at the PGA um, Hotel and Resort. So I'm gonna go try to get some food and then I'm probably going to take a break from filming just a little bit and then I will see y'all back at the welcome party. Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm back at my room. Um, I met up with Brittany, uh, one of the, um, one of the Lily lovers we, that we follow on uh, Instagram. So I met up with her. I met up with so many fun uh, people that I've been following really quickly because I need to charge my battery. It's like four or almost four o'clock. The welcome party is tonight from five to nine, I think, or five to eight. I can't remember. Um, and I have two minutes, two percent left. So I'm going to do this real fast. Um, suggestion. I highly suggest that y'all go to the grocery store. I spent like $40 on my lunch. That's all I had today. 
um, and it's just not sustainable. So uh, me and Brittany went to Publix. I went to, while I was at PGA, they um, were are able to get a car and take us or take you wherever you need to go, kind of sort of within range. So I just wanted to show y'all what I got quickly. Um, this is not, I really just picked up random things. Absolutely had to get some wine because yeah, just got wine. Um, I got, and I know this is going to look like a college dorm room situation, but I just got some little Hawaiian rolls, um, some little animal crackers, Ooh, and I got this birthday cake kettle corn, popcorn, um, and I got a rotisserie chicken. I'm just going to kind of... Ooh, I'm just gonna kind of make sandwiches with that. Um, and I got some potato salad. If you didn't know, Publix has like the best Southern style grocery store potato salad ever. So I got that and I know that's a lot, but I am gonna be here for five days. Um, I love Miracle Whip. Sorry, I know most of y'all do Dukes, but I like Miracle Whip because it has a sweeter uh, taste. I could not find my uh, foundation, so I've just been using concealer. So they didn't have my color. Um, I am in Mocha 360, so I end up getting 365. Hopefully that doesn't look too crazy on me. It's time for the paper tree party. Get rid of I wore heels 
and I put some flats in my bag. So now I've got to change my, my shoes, but I'm going to turn you around so you can see what I've picked out. So, and the lighting is not that great, but this is the dress. I have another dress just in case I didn't get this one, um, but you see it's got little sailboats on it. So I thought that was really nice. This is the skirt that I wanted. Um, so hopefully that fits because that is an extra large and that's the only other larger size that they had. They've sold out of a lot of stuff because we're here for the pink retreat. Um, this is another cute little dress. Not really what I um, am looking for, but I thought it was cute. And then I've been wanting like a little two-piece. So I'm going to try that one on too, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I may honestly wait um, until I get home where we'll have a little bit bigger sizes for me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try those on now. All right, y'all, so I am back in my room. Um, the party was fun. I tried to um, be present and be in the moment, but still try to get some footage. <laughs> um, so, ooh, sorry, I've got ice cream on my shirt. Um, I You saw the clothes that I tried on. I didn't end up getting anything, I um, not clothing-wise. I did get, there's this little, um, I don't know if it's like a children's book or not, but it is a book um, that Lily Pulitzer's granddaughter um, wrote. So it looks like this, and um, I'm not going to pack it, I'm not going to pack it right yet because from my understanding, um, I think they're having a book signing one of these days. I really, that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, I need to edit this video and get it up so I have storage for uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a hot tea. And I think I'm going to go uh, to my friend Brittany's room after the hot tea um, because she's staying at PGA. And... Did I show y'all PGA? I think I did. Maybe a little bit. Um, if I go to her room, I'll show you more. Y'all, it is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I'm so jealous that I'm not there. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, we're that's tomorrow. And I have I have a mimosa cruise. Like I said, I can't, I, I need to email the headquarters and ask them my, um, what is it? My itinerary because I can't find it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to ask them that to make sure I stay on schedule. Um, and I don't want to miss any of the, of my events that I've picked because I've already paid for them. They, they've been paid for since like December, I think late January. Um, so I def don't, definitely don't want to miss out, especially on the uh, mimosa um, boat ride because that seems fun um but yeah it's not that late i hate that i'm in my room <laughs> it's really not late i think it's like not even nine o'clock it's almost nine o'clock but it's not late so yeah anyway um yeah i forgot to finish showing y'all because my battery died what i ended up getting at the grocery store i'm gonna turn you around Okay, I don't remember where I left off, but anyway, um, yeah, I just got these animal crackers, um, cookies, this little birthday um, kettle corn, birthday cake kettle corn, um, so that I didn't spend all the money. Um, I just got these um, dinner rolls and Miracle Whip. I got some sunblock. Um, because I wasn't sure if I could take my big sunblock on the plane. So I did that. Um, somehow or another, I forgot this. So I went and bought toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, I had to go get um, disposable toothbrush and toothpaste from the desk this morning. So <laughs> because I forgot mine. I mean... Probably just because I 
brush my teeth before I got on the plane and I just left it in the bathroom just force a habit so anyway I just got that little travel one um, in the refrigerator oh, I got okay um, I got some sparkle sparkling water oh my god and then um, I just got just an inexpensive wine and I got a rotisserie chicken. Um, I know this looks super retarded, but y'all, I'm spending like an arm and a leg on food and drinks, like, and I'm absolutely not used to it because I'm used to the cruise. So anyway, I got a rotisserie chicken and I just got this um um potato salad so i think i showed y'all but anyway these are just like some little snacks um when i'm in between events um yeah these are just some little snacks when i'm in between events so that i don't spend an arm and a leg and this was expensive i was not ex expecting to do that but um i ended up spending like 80 dollars which is not that that bad considering that my lunch today um that i showed y'all when i was at pga that was like 40 dollars. so um i highly suggest that you do that uh, when you come to the pink retreat definitely i would make sure that your hotel has a refrigerator because um, you need to have snacks and different things just to make it cost effective. So anyway, I'm going to hop in the shower. Um, I did go downstairs and get me a mimosa. I feel like I've been drinking mimosas <laughs> this entire trip. So I'm just going to sit down, um, take a hot shower and just do some editing. Also, um, we did get a little swag bag, um, when we checked in. I think I'm gonna save that for and anything else that I buy I think I'm gonna save it for when I actually get home because I have no room anywhere <laughs> in my luggage and I just feel that it would be best and to make sure I don't lose anything if I just go ahead and like don't unpack anything and then I'll save that for like a separate video anyway that is it for this vlog thank y'all for watching I know we got off to a psychotic start um but yeah things are looking up so um yeah I am gonna go relax and get ready for tomorrow and I'll see y'all then